Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sapien Sons YouTube channel. Very happy to be here with a new video. We're going to be going off in a minute to see Rogue, but I wanted to let you know about some of the things that have happened kind of off screen and kind of in between. So one, we're still continuing with uh, this game and uh, The Witcher 3, naturally going along with Grim Fandango. And uh, if you have any games you kind of want me to see or try, let them know in the comments below. Red Yam is going to be there, hopefully. Hey dude, what's up? Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Um, who's, by the way, Rad Yammer, you're fantastic. And obviously I can't emphasize this one. I'm just in comments and stuff. But uh, you've given me some actual genuine advice. And I am uh, generally I'm quite appreciative of you and everyone else who comments and likes and do that lovely stuff. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. Today we're going to be going off and again doing the rogue stuff. But we have this uh, lovely little mission that I kind of uh, have. It's full disclosure. Now, we got this uh, kind of message or quest from Sandra Dorset, and Sandra Dorset is the lady who uh, we we helped with uh, Jackie Wells. So, Jackie Wells and me, during the prologue, it was our first mission together, kind of after the kind of montage thing, and then we went off and did this. Where she was the kind of she was the lady who was in the in the bathtub. She was about to have all of her cybernetics extracted. We called all of the people, and she happily went on her way in the ambulance and etc. You know the football thing. And now she's she's basically out of the blue. She's messaged us. Apparently she she thinks we're trustworthy. I kind of think we're trustworthy. B is pretty trustworthy, and me, eh, you know, I'm all right. So <laughs> we're gonna go do that. But we're gonna do rogue first. And I think we should go. You know, kind of see Rogue, because, to be fair, I gave her 15,000 uh, eddies, and I don't really know what that money's going to go towards, but if she knows best, Johnny knows best, I think I'm almost trust either one of them, so we're going to go down there. And after the live stream we did, and kind of got an update and stuff, we now have our, our Hellcat back, and <laughs> I know that's not the name, but uh, it's the best I've got. So, uh, where you at? Come on, baby. We're going to go see the lovely rogue. Now, as fixers go, um, and as kind of people with like, where the fuck are you going? Are you I swear to... Where are you going? You... I swear, if this one goes off, I'm just taking the bike. <laughs> Here. The world calls for great release. Good. And I think I just got trolled. I don't know whether <laughs> that one that one was um, taken over by one of Delamay's personalities there. That's my law explanation anyway. Right. Oh. What is that PA system? And they kept talking all the way and I was gonna ignore it, but it just kept happening. So I just was like, okay, bugger, I'm gonna do it over whatever that is, noise is. So alright, <clears throat> okay, so while we're on the way, I've got an LMG. I've kind of um, sorted out and know what I'm doing. So as you know, I'm an LMG. I've kind of made myself into a one-man army. Um, and to be fair, I did say that if it got a little bit too hard, I would change things up and, uh, well, make it harder. So let's see. Next time we're in combat, you're gonna. Sh I'm going to show off all my... Well... <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself, you see. I want to keep a little bit back for a surprise. And if you wish to, you don't have to. If you want to like and subscribe, that'd be lovely too. But you don't have to. Anyway, I'm really hoping that um, she's not gonna not gonna introduce me to Pan Am. I I, ho I know that sounds bad because obviously uh, I I it, for, <laughs> for this V I do want a romance my romance option to be the lovely Pan Am. Um, who is a very fantastic character made by CD Projekt Red and her voice actor is kind of nice as well so we're going to be romancing her but the only problem is she initiates kind of like going into a different kind of space out because uh, she's the nomad kind of quest on right oh I see I need to go down <laughs> where am I going right I have to go down this way and around the corner uh okay <laughs> Is that allowed? Can I do that? Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. I'm hoping to go through here that... Yes! Okay, good. Da -da 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 -da. And around the corner is afterlife. Fantastic. 
And as I was saying, because because going to see Pan Am kind of expands outwards and kind of goes out into a different, it's like a different path in the story mission kind of thing. I quite like it, and it does give me a nice kind of range of uh, questing. So, hmm. I'll tell you what, we'll play it by ear. I, I prefer it that way anyway. Okay, hello everyone. Hello. I'm back. Do I do? Mmm, I do love the music. Oh yes, and we're gonna do players that she's a look. Hey. What's up, dude? You're alright, man. You come to talk about my offer? I'm I'm here to talk to Fuck it, yeah, go on. Yeah. Let's talk three ways. Sure, but not here. It's mayhem. I'll be at my garage after my shift. Swing by? No way. Talk there. Have a good one. Alright. <laughs> Talk soon, Manny. Alright. Have fun. All right. Hey, lover boy. Hey, come here, let's stop. Yeah, you wrench the whole bar. Just get your drunk butt home, will ya? Oh, okay. <laughs> and by the way, this this, this is permanently glitched out, by the way. We did this on another episode. I can't I there's nothing I could it's just permanently glitched out. We're just moving on. And and we're, hopefully we're moving on to the queen of the fixtures. Johnny, 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 please pop in and give me some sort of like cheat sheet to win this bitch over. I don't, uh, he's, he's being very sassy at the moment, but I think, I think some of me is going in, no, I don't, I was about to say something, it sounded very, okay, uh, never mind. Some of me is going inside of him and some of him is coming inside of me. Yeah, I did say that. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully it works that way. It is you, Rogue. Got an appointment there, big stuff. You're all right, Wellington. What's up? Rogue, expecting me. Can, 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 am I good? I don't want to be like, no, you trespassed. Uh, Rogue, that 15 grand they gave you. Hey, Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Thank you. Are these your crewmates? Because have they have they left since have they left since the last time I was here? Hope you found them. Don't see that often. Determination like yours must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Cheers. Bottle stays. Go She's ahead. got some ovaries, Enjoy. this one. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Are you about to tell me it's a bot? Go on, Jack. Give me that cheat sheet I was talking about. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? Wait, who, who, who she? Sorry, what? I missed that. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold oh, ass you. bitch. Oh, you. Sorry. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Oh, cheers. Okay, cool. Thank you for actually helping me. When I said I needed a cheat sheet, I actually thought you were just going to be a sake bastard. I actually apologize. I do po Sorry. Let's see what you got. Show me what those fifth. Show me what fifteen grand gets me in this fucking world, please. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway, but he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Hmm. I don't. Hmm. Okay. Chinese and then Arasaka's Japanese, so obviously they fucking hate each other. Uh, and then Hellman's got protection. Anyone who has protection must be something. Pa uh, this is in my head, by the way. Anyone who has this kind of protection. Hmm. The machination. I love the. I love the word machinations, by the way. Good book, by the way. Go go and read it. But the lovely uh, Greek dude or Roman. I can't remember. Anyway. Um. Interesting. Okay, and can yes, let's get to, let's get to the heart of the question, shall we? Can, can you, you drag him down? Exactly. Getting a mark on him ought to be easy. Actually, grabbing him—another story entirely. 
Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Oh, can you say what's the still give I heard him say huh like really like, like uh, okay now he's giving back see what what is You're it? You're wasting it is my time. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. You got anything for that, Jack? No, okay. Um, <laughs> what's the bad news? Go on. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But, right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Hmm. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. AV Lloyd, that's hard to... By the way, you're doing really well, Jackie. Uh, just, just, sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't call you Jackie, Johnny. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it. Not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. Uh, the theme is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, and uh, yeah, go on. Please tell, tell me you got the hookup. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. Oh, she can't baby. count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands, and she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nabin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Me too. I don't like... Nah, I don't... See, I don't mind meeting Pan Am Palmer. You're wasting my time. Fuck you, I'm seriously... That, this Rushing the dialogue is just on my tits. Strange. Uh, Thought nomads gave the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Okay. And white. <laughs> yeah, go on. I know I'm going to romance her, and it's probably going to come out later on when I start being nice and polite to Pick the up first person. Why, why, why is she in your pocket? Why's Pan Am got to help me? I sense a catch, pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job, well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Hmm. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. I do. We do. Okay. Is that a royal we, by the way, Queen of the Fixers? You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. Huh. I'm her only chance, 
and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No, oh, V. Don't OV me. You're the one who's supposed to give me it. This is supposed to be like you're building a side back 50 years ago. I need you to give me a cheat you're sheet that's gonna. my time. Yeah, whatever. I, I need you to give me a cheat sheet, Jackie. Uh, Johnny, sorry. Um, that's gonna basically me have me call her on her bullshit and be like, how did you know that? I was like, well, I've got this shit on my brain. Help me out and I can get you Johnny Silverhand back, maybe, if I don't die in the process. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get <laughs> out of here. Yeah, let's go. Right. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. I I will uh, try. Oh, I see. That's you done, is it? Now. Nah. That's that's actually cemented in your head. That's if you're almost like if I didn't know any better, I'd say you used to be uh, Maelstrom. Okay. Hmm. Cool Pan Am. Hey. Here, let's stop. I I would, but it seems like you've got um, someone inside you already. Anyway, right. Okay, so we've done that, hey, and, and I. Hang on just a little longer. Excuse too. me. Just a sec. On the way. I'm ignoring all of them. <laughs> oh come on now! You bastard! I'm gonna puke. Quick, 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 quick! Get outside! Get outside! I don't want them to see me weak. I don't want them to see me weak. No, it's not going to happen that way. Just breathe. That's it, breathe. Just, just chill out here. Just chill out here for a sec. <laughs> I'm doing it like I'm role playing. Right. Okay, so we're going to do that. I, I'm, I'm saving that for next episode. I promise you we will do that at a different location. I promise you we will call her. But I kind of wanted to check out some of the things first of all. Like, oh. <laughs> okay, so we saw. Oh, I really want to call her though. Oh, that's so. It'd be really cool. It would actually be really cool to call Pan Am. I mean, we've met all the rest of the crew that's going to be on to the end of the game. I'll tell you what, we'll call her after we go and see the lovely. Okay, we're going to go do this quest up here. And then. I'm... <laughs> I think that would be best. I want to make it all cool and yeah. And now. Oh. Yes. I don't know who owned this car, but I like the cheetah. It's good. <laughs> now, how far away do we have to drive? Please say it's a long while. 1.2. Easy. Um, because as I said uh, on my way there to uh, the lovely Afterlife scene, uh, Queen of the Fixers, Pan Am is kind of like the opening up to this whole nother thing. And as much as she's lovely, and uh, she does her best, and she's, well, she wants to be a nomad, she wants to help her people. I get all of that, I do. And at the end of the day, it's fine, but <laughs> I don't think I'm there yet. I want to do more things in the city before I edge out. I know I'm going to have to kind of double back, because I know I'm going to have to do the Judy con. Oh no. <laughs> I just realized what I can do. We're not going to call Judy. We are going to call that Mr. Hands guy. Because Judy, after we found Evelyn Parker, right? We found Evelyn Parker. But see, she, she's basically gone PTSD and just closed off. And she's probably... She, to be fair, she's probably going to tot herself. I, I don't know if that's foreshadowing. I don't know. I genuinely, I couldn't tell you. But I think she might. She's in one of the... She's like catatonic. Um... And I kind of feel like I want to do that first. If that makes sense. You know, because as I said again, I'm going to reiterate it as much as I can because I ramble a little bit. But I want to go, I want to save Pan Am for a little bit later on. Oh, hi, it's uh, Cynthia, Pepe's wife. Oh, como esta? Yeah, sí. I do. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. I what you told him, but thanks. Thank you so much. Oh, for real? Oh, you sweetheart. Oh, no, seriously, just that was a bit of brotherly advice for him to just chill the fuck out. She, you love each other, and anyway, okay, cool, that's lovely. I like, I like how that came back around. Okay, lovely. Now, 
we're gonna have to do a bit of sneaky sneaky stuff now I don't know if anyone's here uh, I've <laughs> Have I killed everyone in here before? Uh, this is very weird. Uh, <clears throat> hello? Uh, anybody here wanting to kill me? <laughs> Anyone here wanted to die? <laughs> uh, okay, come on. No. Very strange. Why do I feel like I'm walking into a trap? Okay. Now, if you were uh, Sandra Dorset's uh, lovely data bank, where would you stash it? Hmm. Oh, ha <laughs> I... That was a fluke and a half, I tell you what. I, no, it wasn't a fluke. Or it was. But you know what they say about a fluke, don't you? That a fluke is actually one of the most common fish in the sea. So chances are, if you're going to go looking for a fluke, you might catch one. And I absolutely did rip that off of uh, the office. <laughs> okay, right. Lovely. Nice little detour. I'm thinking I might as well just call her. Hmm. I'm going to call everyone today. <laughs> right, hopefully my I've got enough credit. Okay, this way. It's a ripper dock. Hey, where'd you come from? No, where'd you... Downstairs. You want to talk about this? I don't know what you saw there. I don't go down there. I don't know anything. They forced me. I'm their hostage. Said if I try to escape, I'd be next on the table. I swear. So all of that kind of maelstrom crap downstairs, the weird shit, and that the fact nobody's there. Time's kind of tight here. You're lying. You're lying. It's your right not to believe me. You also have the right to a discount. Discount? What do you mean? Special prices for special customers like you. In exchange for... Forgetting for... what I saw in the basement? Yes. Well put. Well said. Charles Bucks. No affiliation. Do I need another... Do I need another... Uh, I'll tell you what. I don't need another... I don't need another Ripper. I got Victor. I need to kick the shit out of you. So I'm going to kick the shit out of you for those weird... I imagine you're just... I'm just going to assume he's a crazy fucking surgeon, to be fair. Are you even know. able to look yourself in the mirror? No. Fuck you. I, I understand. Yes. C could you wait here a minute? There's something I'd like to show you. Where did... Are you about to fucking... Are you fucking kidding me? Where are you running to? I don't I'm want just going to... Gonna... Die. No, that's fine. I'm not going to kill you, but... Or, or am I supposed... Is this me trying... I like it! Yeah! Clinic. Was that clinic? Oh, no! Shit! Run, 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 run. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Get in. Okay, come on. We need to find our... Uh, a s Wait. Get... Guess we need to get somewhere safe. Uh, let's see. My apartment's all the way down there. I'm not gonna go there anytime soon. Oh, great. Let's let's try. <laughs> let's go away. Okay, right. We need to get. Okay. I figure that because we're around like a bunch of like well. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't wish to cast aspersions, but a bunch of gangster fucks. So hang on a minute. We'll get out here. <laughs> I figure it's safer. Right. Oh! Bugbear. 
Now, you see, when we went through and we were doing our live, this was actually one of the uh, missions we were on. So, uh, yeah, go on. Bugbear, lay on me, because Wakaku sent me to go and rescue her. Uh, okay. Geek Tote Special Play. Is that it? Fuck it. Fucking hell. No, no, no. Bugbear. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Wait. Do not disconnect. Cool me down or on barbecue. Take coolant from bathroom. Oh, okay. I did do that. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Different video. Go check it out if you want to, if you uh, like that kind of a thing. V. You're V, right? You find the data bank? Glad you're holding up. I, I hope. I hope this is an old business. Someone's back in tip top shape. Trauma must have put you back together in no time. Yep. Good as new. Still, if not for you, wouldn't have been anything left to put back together. Never got the chance to thank you properly. Wasn't there someone else with you? Big guy? Whenever you get a chance, tell him I said thanks. How do you know about Jackie? How do you know about Jackie? That's because you're unconscious and... Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Jackie's... Jackie's dead. No, sure thing, love. Jackie's, uh... Sure, I'll pass it on. Knowing Jackie, though, he'd probably take that as his cue to ask for your number and call you up for a date. But that'll never happen, because he... Jackie, uh... Never mind. I'm sure you got a lot on your plate. Is everything okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. So, did you find my data bank? Yeah, I found your phone. <laughs> These corpo types, not not one for emotions, are they? Anyway, I'm having a good day, so uh, yes, That's I did. Chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, uh... Yeah. It's just that, well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was going to go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. You're safe now. Who ha... Uh you know, like, in this world, right, where people are quite lonely, we, we talked to that guy called Barry, right? And ourselves, Jackie, where he, nobody knew the real him. I don't think any of these people ever open up about any of this shit. I mean, it's fine to be, like, all tough and shit, but, I mean, seriously, if you don't say shit, you're just going to break in two. Kind of like Jackie when he had that moment of us when we went there, and I, I thought it was a bit off-put, but he's right. I didn't know him that well, and then he showed me how... Jiveny was. Sadly, he died. Uh, like, and like this chick here, Sandra Dorset. She's pretty cool, I suppose. And I want to give her a fair do, so... Uh... Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scavs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. All right. Okay. See, when when like who is it? Uh, I think it was T Bug or something said that uh, this trauma is going to be like uh, a scar on the subconscious, nothing more. I think she was kind of playing it too safe for that because like, oh, come on, it was, it's all. What what did Jackie say? It was all fish hooks and like. Ice baths and crap. I've never seen. Look, I've never seen that IRL. But even in a video game, it it. it do you know what I'm saying? It's not like a vacation. It's and it's not. It's not as bad as like PTSD, or is it? No, I, no. I'd say that's pretty. Yeah, I think she might be. So, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Maybe I'm such an idiot. I can't talk and drive at the same time. Okay, so. Alright, okay, good. So we're going to talk to her lovely self down here. And then after we finish with her, we... No, I've decided we will actually... <laughs> I know what I said. I know what I said. I can change my mind. <laughs> okay. Huh. I mean... I'm just... Sorry. 
I just want to check how uh, that was me, by the way, backing up and jabbing. Quick look, I'm quite nosy, so I'm, I'm comparing her apartment to mine. Because guess what? I I got that apartment when I was just some sleazy little dude running around with Jackie for six months. She's a corpo lady, you know. She's got proper, <laughs> she's got proper salary. You know So, so uh, let's uh, let's 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 see if she compares, eh? And I hope she does get well. I mean, I don't know. As I said, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I <laughs> I know this word a little bit better now, I suppose. But um, I do hope she's alright. Sometimes you do this. And by the way, out there, just like Barry um, with his tortoise, just like this chick, you know, and Jackie having these pent ups, think go talk to someone. Trust me, someone you trust. It's all right if you do. That's 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 my yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sandra. Sandra, it's me, V. Otherwise, I have to fill in. Bank. You know. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on, don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My um friend told me your memory would be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, no, no, it doesn't matter. I'll you go on. The data bank? What are you worried about? Like, as I'm saying, like, <laughs> having to fill in in between A to B, but, uh, yeah, I do, what I say, I do mean you should go talk to them, so, and... Give me something to work with here. Give me a side mission! I actually wish... To know that you're okay, I'm invested in your story, and I don't know what the fuck I am either. If it's not the scabs you're worried about, then who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything? It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank? I did. Okay, I seems she does want to talk. It's all business, but uh, I'm going to check out your apartment after this. Here. Don't worry. It's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? Uh, no. I'm a professional. I have a reputation to uphold. Hmm. Good. Then here you go for your professionalism. I threw in a little extra for minding your own data. Thanks. Be seeing you. 1240. 1240. Love, I'm pretty sure I, I cleared that building like two days ago when I was doing a different video. I had to kill 40 people for 12. Fuck. Anyway, uh, <laughs> moving on. Oh, nice. I mean, I, I get the Japanese thing, or you suppose. Uh, and you have got a fed kitchen. And a separate... Alright, fine, it's better... It's okay, fine, it's, be, it's a better apartment than mine. Jesus, I need to get a better apartment. There's this one, by the way. I'm just going to get your advice on it, by the way. There's this one over here. There. Welcome home, the Glen. Now, is that good or not? Because if so, I might go check it out. Um, but I don't know if it lets you check. You know what I'm saying? Does it let you check it out? I, I, I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, and by the way, does my... Iguana move? No. No, I don't... I don't think so. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> All right, right, okay. Now, let's get... No, we're not going to call Pan Am. We're actually going to call Hand. Mr. Hands, okay, we're gonna call Mr. Hands for, uh, for Judy's quest line. V, what's shaking? Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right, straight to heavy business. Hmm, now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Oh, Maman Brigitte, bonjour, mes amours. Okay, Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. I have not had the pleasure of asking her personally, but it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Oh, I see. Well, they speak 
I know they said Creole, but they speak basically like an accented version of uh, French. I quite like that. Um, that's pretty good. I thought you, yeah, I thought you could. He kept saying it over and over again. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah, now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. Mm. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. So, oh, come on. It's, yeah, it's personal. It's personal. For a personal reason. I mean, I mean, do we just say? I need to contact, uh... I need to see that chick, basically. I need to see that woman, and I have... I imagine this is the first person he said, Mama Brigitte. I need to see her. Sorry, it's personal. Well, that's fucking helpful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Mr. Hans, the most down-to-earth fixer I've met so far. Besides from... Uh... Regina? Maybe? I suppose, but she's a cop in like, some other shit, but... No, okay, whatever. Anyway, I've got something new. I've got something they want. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. I wanted it... I think, I think what I've held, it just... If you said to Mr. Hands, I uh, I want to meet them, and say, okay, give me something, give me something. Just tell them, Johnny Silverhand, and say I want a meeting. And that's it, leave it at that and continue. Because that, that'd be pretty good. I want to shit them up. And hopefully, that's going to happen. So, okay, so I'm going to have to keep busy. Okay, so Takimura, let's, okay, let's investigate this, what we actually have to do. So, okay, meet with Takimura. Now, I've been told by uh, Red Yama, hello by the way again, uh, to do that at level 30, so I'm going to do that. Now, fuck it, fuck it, we're, we're, we're talking to Pan Am. <laughs> Pan Am? Pa pa Pan Am? There you go, Pan Am. Uh, got your number from Rogue. V here. <laughs> hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old war horse want to kick me now? Uh, the merch in your car. Want them back? Forget Rogue. I can help you. Oh, <laughs> I quite like Rogue. Uh, no, I don't actually. I think she's a massive bitch, but and, uh, it might be her age. I don't know. Are all grandmas like that or just the really sadistic ones who live in bars and breathing sulfuric acid <laughs> do you know what I mean? uh the merch in your car want them back forget rogue i can help you now nah, i don't want to be cocky like that this thing between you and rogue couldn't care less got a job for you good but i'm overextended at the moment with the merch Please. in your car getting them back i can help with that the rail freight yard on bonita street the one hugging the city line we'll meet there see ya Damn, that was fast. Damn, that was fast. I like a girl like that. Well, you know, I'm overextended. I'm a bit busy. I've got, I've, I've got some shit you need to listen to. <laughs> Love it. Right, where are we going now? Two point fucking seven. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Come on. Where's it? Where's it? Where's a fast point? Where's a fast point? Go on. Come on. Where's a fast point? There's usually like one every 20 feet. <laughs> the one time. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, whoever's watching this right now, I think we should... Damn, though. Hey, consider this your lucky day. You hear Pacifica call and you make sweet love to it, that is. Got something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the BTBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing. So I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. Oh, what's this task needs doing? What? You're gonna go picky on me now? The contact will fill you in on the deets. 
I got zero from him. Actually, got the impression I'd have to pay for every word out of his mouth. Well, who is it? Okay, so who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on slow. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> I just crashed there, bro. Anyway, um, I was it. I was enthralled in the dialogue. So that's pretty cool. So I need to go to some weird chapel. <laughs> I need to go to a weird chapel, right? Talk to some voodoo boys, which, by the way, is a pretty cool name all around. I quite like it. Oh man. I quite. See, the thing is, the voodoo boys. When he says Pacifica, is Pacifica. You know when it cuts in the beginning. I get like a, I'm getting like a vibe that they're the most dangerous people to deal with because they simply don't care. Now, that bothers me because the fact of not caring means they have power that nobody else can take away. Do you know what I mean? And that has, that, that, that has weight. And I think this Bridget, uh, Mama, Mama Budget, uh, Mama Baguette, as we will now be calling her. <laughs> right, three over there. Huh, I'm curious to see where she is actually, this pat By car. What? Is, <laughs> is, no way, is this the one for, oh shit, that's what, okay. I just want to double check, okay. We won't be buying you this time, but there's going to be a lovely gee whiz enthusiast who's going to love that. Anyway, right, where are we going, where are we going? Here. See, nothing's been, no, no one's been shot yet, and I kind of feel bad because I did say I wasn't. Oh, I wanted to see. I, I did say I wanted. To... Die. Fantastic. I was gonna hit you, but you're like over there. All right, boom, boom. Okay. Nice. Now, how much? How much did I lose? Basically, no, nothing. I didn't lose anything. <laughs> oh, that's. I'm hoping to get so fast it's like a blur. And the thing is, I that San Vist 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 Judy Alves. Oh, hello. Hola, mi amiga. Um, how do you do, V? Find those voodoo boys. Um, not yet. I'm not yet, but I'm not going to tell you about the contact. She's being very... There was this weird switch, by the way, when she knew we can trust her, and now she's being like a puppy. I, I quite like it, because it makes... It makes sense. She she didn't know me. She didn't know what I was about. Uh, but I helped her with Evelyn and kind of and did the whole thing. So uh, now we kind of got her on her back. And as I said, uh, with all these people, I'm coming up and I and I quite like the character of Pan Am. So that's why I wanted to go meet her. After like thinking about all this kind of stuff, I I think I have to do this mission, get her car back and whatever like that, and then I'm gonna go do that. So we'll kind of see how it fills out. Um. It won't come to that. I don't want you to end up like Ev. It won't come to that. It won't ever come to that. But I want to know if she's alright. See you, love. Have fun. I like how she. Ch I like just. I know. I know it's like an updated type of thing. It's all questing, but the whole phone call kind of thing. I like. I very much like that because um, I don't know, as to a kind of connection kind of level because you want to, when you're going through video games, right, and I know it sounds stupid when I'm just rambling about some random topic, but come on, what are we going to talk about from A to B? <laughs> really? I mean, seriously. And the thing is, when you when you go through these games, you do get invested with all this lovely stuff and I quite like it because, and especially the, as I was saying, the text messages and stuff and, and uh, the phone calls. It, it works. It really does work. And CD Project Red, 
this is their first little game like this and and this is why you should go out and absolutely buy phantom fucking liberty go do so please and also subscribe do that lovely stuff i love you baby <laughs> right hello this is your car a colby Can I open the boot? Oh yeah, Pan Am love. It's nice to see you in the flesh, love. And um, lovely, but no, <laughs> nice assets. Oh, uh, anyway, anyway, uh, Pan Am. Hey. hey, Pan Am. So you're a V. Where's Pleasure. my car? Well, I mean. If we're gonna go get your car back, why are you working on this one? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. Uh, help me and you'll find it. Rogue said we can help each other. Help, help me and you'll find it. Yeah, do I want to mention her or do I not mention me? her? Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, let's not mention her. I kind of feel like if I bring up Rogue's name, it's just gonna add a little bit of, uh, yeah. <laughs> Agree to help me. You'll find out. Oh, fuck no. Please. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, relax. Wait. <laughs> yeah, because women love it when you tell them to relax, eh? Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. If you go alone, you won't get them back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? A fucking apology would be nice, eh, girly? I'm, <laughs> I'm not having no fucking sassy bitch like fucking job to mine. <laughs> uh, got to get this one guy. Need your help. I mean it. Mm. Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Want to know I can count on you? Are you out of your goddamn mind? A little bit. Job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? She's very... <laughs> she's very... See, the thing is, Rogue said it best. Like, I think she. I think she's just... She'll get herself stupid What's for some... What's gotten into you? Uh, you are very hot. I think Rogue... I, I don't know if she's... This is what I'm talking about. I think she's hot-headed, and I think that's what Rogue was talking about. I kind of get that. I thought this was mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Hmm. All right. <laughs> cars and rock. Yeah, cars and Rocky Ridge. So uh, let's uh, hop to cars and Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty eating bastard! I will strangle you. Excuse me. Yeah, who's that? Nash, you me yours. He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. He straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Uh... I... Yeah? Yeah! Because either way, he's gonna get a bullet in the head, and you know, we're we we two good-looking, sexy human beings. We're gonna go keep the shit out of him, obviously, man. And then we're gonna go and make sure, you know, I don't die in three fucking weeks. Rocky Ridge, let's go. Uh, hang on, I, I I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. 
Boss, hey. Now she's gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is, the motherfucker screwed me over. Boss, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boss, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? I. You have my word. I t I'm just. Have I'm just. In th I'm thrown okay. in the dialogue. No, don't call off the meet. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course. I'm I just will. gonna chill out with Johnny. I'm just. Thanks, I'm just. Boss. Whatever. Just. Yeah. This. Whatever. Just chilling out. Really. Okay. How's yeah, everyone out there in the wider world? <laughs> you good? You off the phone? Okay, lovely. Right. Oh, is she? V? Go on. Boz? Vista Del Rey, Boz. Had no idea you drive for 6th Street. Is that not allowed? No, nothing wrong with it. They still wild about stars, stripes, and core heartland values. Uh, strong word, wild. And I don't care. They pay well. It's simple. Took your word for it. Oh, is that reflexes? Oh, we gotta put some points into that because it usually is roughly around five. Go on, where to it's now? Gonna it's in the middle of some shit hole, isn't it? <laughs> so, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Whoa! You seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. And they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna. Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Right, and Rogue said you were cast out. Right, is that how it sounds, by the way? Because I, I, the Nomad Path... Uh, v? Hmm. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It Did you wake up prickly? <laughs> They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Uh-huh. You see, the family dramas are the most fucked up. <laughs> Trust me. I know. I've had some, I've some, I've had some weird marriage breakups and shit and some other fucking like... Jesus. I know what I'm talking about. Jeremy, Clark, Jeremy Kyle has nothing on Jerry Springer. And Jerry Springer and Jeremy Kyle have nothing on the usual public... <laughs> We've all got people. Anyway. Let's go. Good, let's roll. Get in. Okay. <laughs> Fasten the suit, baby! But I'm going to pause it there. We'll be back next episode where this is where we're going to start off. Fantastic. And we're going to go off in the, the wider distance of... Oh, the Elder Caldo. Lovely. Anyway, we're going to do that and we're going to go off into the wider... Day. Shut up! I'm doing, I'm doing my outro. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> so thank you very much uh, for this lovely video. I'm going to see you in the next one. We're going to shoot off into the wider world and uh, check out what Pan Am... Uh, <laughs> hopefully she's going to calm down and let us chill out and just have a good ride and shoot some badasses and shit like that. You know what I mean. Shoot the shit and whatever like that. Thank you very much for watching this lovely episode. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.